Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one, I hope. Um, this is going to be my travel plan and journal with me for my trip to Hawaii. So my boyfriend and I are going to Maui and meeting up with some friends while we're out there. So um, it should be a really good time. And today is just about a week before our departure date. And I thought it would be the perfect time to sit down and start planning out some things that we wanna do or places that we wanna check out or go eat at and things like that. So here is my little um, travel journal that I purchased on Amazon. This is from the company Scribbles That Matter. And um, I have done one of these videos before when we took a trip to San Antonio. So I, um, I'll link that down below in case you guys want to check that out. So for this trip, I'm going to start over here because um, I had done my San Antonio trip over here and I want to leave a, a blank page in between just to kind of like have, I don't know, a separation. And then I'm going to start on this side. So yeah, I haven't really exactly figured out what I'm going to be doing. I think it's going to be something that I figure out as I go along. And yeah, it's always going to be kind of a work in progress. I'm not really good at planning ahead for trips and things like that. It's just not really my forte, but um, I think this is a really fun process. So I'm looking forward to it and I hope you guys enjoy. This process didn't quite go as I had planned. Um, initially, I wanted this to be both a plan with me and a journal with me. Um, so basically, I had planned to bring this with me on my vacation and just journal as I went along. Um, but that didn't end up happening because when I was actually in Hawaii, I didn't really feel like taking out my journal like to the beach or to the pool um, just because I didn't want it to get wet or get sand on it. And I was like covered in sunscreen half the time. So again, I just didn't want the journal to get like dirty and everything. Um, so I didn't actually end up journaling and then when I came home, um, it's been quite a busy summer. So as some of you may have noticed, I haven't really been um, uploading quite as many videos. And so, yeah, I just didn't quite get around to doing the journaling part. So this is only going to be a travel plan with me. So for this first page, I decided to create kind of um, like a Polaroid picture and just write Maui, Hawaii, because that's where we were going to be going. And the washi tape that I pulled in at the top, I think I got that... Oh my gosh, I got that so long ago. I can't even remember what shop that was from. I'm so sorry. And then I just pulled in some deco stickers from a leftover kit that I had from stickers by Ashley K. It was a summer themed kit. So those stickers were really perfect to pull in for a beach vacation. And then on the next page, I decided to put down the forecast because um, I just wanted to know like, you know, how warm it was going to be so that I could figure out what to pack. Um, I brush lettered forecast at the top with my brush lettering pen and then just created kind of like a grid so that I could write down the forecast for each day. I ended up leaving the last day blank because I planned this about a week in advance and um, that day was not available on my weather app yet. So I did go back and fill it in when I had that information available later on. Moving to the next page, I wanted to do a page just for the flights that we were taking there and back. Um, we were taking four flights total because we had a layover, so I decided to keep track of all that on one page um, to itself. And I am not really good at doodling on my own, so I do tend to reference other artwork a lot when I doodle. And for this time, I really love the airplane doodle sticker that Hazel Sticker has on her travel sheet. It's definitely one of my favorites, so I decided to use that as a reference and recreate it at the top of my page. I then had some trouble deciding how I wanted to mark the flights. And um, the first way that I did it, I didn't really like because I felt like it looked kind of messy. Um, although looking at it now, it seems fine. Um, but anyways, I decided to switch it up and white out what I had done. Um, unfortunately, the paper is a little bit more yellow than my white out. And so you can definitely see it, um, but there was nothing really that I could do about that. And so I go ahead and mark all four of our flights there and back.
I believe for this plan with me, the brush lettering pen that I used is the Tombow Fuda Noske, which is definitely one of my all time favorites. I pulled in some adorable stickers from Hazel Sticker um, that is also from her travel sheet, which I mentioned earlier is where I got the airplane idea from, and I just put that around the page just to add some deco, and then I went back in and filled in the forecast for the last day that we were going to be there. Moving to the following page, I decided to draw a banner at the top to mark that this page was going to be dedicated to my packing list, and this was probably the part that was the most functional for me. Um, usually when I pack, it takes me forever because I'm going through all my clothes and um, you know trying to decide on the spot, and it ends up being such a huge mess like in my room because I have all this stuff that I decided not to bring, etc. And um, for this time, I felt like my packing went so smoothly because I had already um, gone through and thought about what I wanted to bring. So I pretty much just grabbed um, most, if not all of those items. And um, it just made my packing go so much smoother. So I can't believe I'm barely just now starting this system. Um, but yeah, this was definitely one of my favorite parts of my planning. And the stickers that I pulled in on this page are from Toffee Bananas. I have a page of like miscellaneous stickers and some of them just worked really well for what I needed. I did pull in some other stickers to add some deco to the page because as you can see, that middle column is a little bit empty. And once I'm done with that, I move to the following page where I actually plan out um, what we wanted to do each day. So the first three days of our trip, we were going to be um, kind of in the north side of the island in a little area called Napili Bay. So we were staying there at an Airbnb for um, three nights. And initially I had brush lettered Napili, but I didn't like how that looked because I felt like the banner I drew is so cutesy and that just didn't quite match with the lettering. So I rewrote Napili Bay on a little sticker paper that I had from like a leftover kit. And I just stuck that on the page and I really like how that turned out. And then um, for this page, I decided to break it up into two sections. So on the left hand side are the plans for each day. And this is something that kind of drives me crazy about pre-planning is that things change. And then what you put down in your planner or your journal isn't reflective of what actually happened. So in this case, we were supposed to go up to Haleakala, which is like a, you know, volcano summit area um, to watch the sunrise on Saturday morning. Um, but we couldn't get the tickets for it. So we ended up going on Sunday morning, which totally changed like the rest of our plans for those two days. And so what I had written down was not actually um, how things went. And it does kind of drive me crazy a little bit because I want everything to be like actually reflective of what happened. But um, I know that's just not realistic with how things go. Um, but anyways, on the right hand column, I decided to use that as a planning for eating and drinking. So um, I put a to eat section and just broke it up into breakfast slash lunch because we usually combine the two. We're not up early enough to like have breakfast on its own. Um, a dinner section, a dessert section, and then just a to drink section of like breweries and bars that we could check out. And that's it for this page. So I move on to the next page. Um, so like I said, we stayed three nights up in Apili Bay, and then we were staying three nights in a more Southern city on Maui called Kihei. Um, and I really like that we broke up the trip into two separate places because we kind of got to see a little bit more of the island. And as you might've noticed, I kept flipping back and forth because I wanted to make sure this page looked the same as the last page. And, um, same format on the left hand side is just the plans for each day and basically we had zero plans for the time that we were in Kihei um, and that was actually really enjoyable we just kind of like decided what we were going to do each day when we woke up sometimes we you know walked down to get breakfast and then went to the beach um, other days we just kind of like hung around or met up with our friends like each day was just like you know kind of like up in the air and um, we do really enjoy traveling that way so that's why you see me leaving all those days blank and then um, similarly to the 
the other page, the right hand side is just to track um, places to eat and places to drink, which for us is like a really huge and important part of traveling. And, um, it was good to have the list, but we didn't end up actually going to most of the places. Um, because when we were there, we could actually look up places that were like right near where we were either staying or where we were hanging out. And so other places were actually more um, convenient for us to go to rather than the places I had put down, but that was okay because I made that list just as a guideline of things that we uh, might want to do and not like a list of things that we had to do. So anyways, that is it for this plan with me. Um, I think I'm going to leave a few pages blank um, at the end before I start planning for my next trip just in case I ever did feel like going back to journal some things or print out some pictures to put in um, I had that option um, thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy this um, definitely let me know if you have any questions or um, anything you want to share or any traveling advice I'm always open to that so yeah thank you again for watching and I will talk to you guys next time bye